Creating frosted glass and substance painter involves several key steps to give the glass a semi-transparent blurred and frosted effect. Here's a detailed tutorial on how to achieve this effect. Import your model and bake the proper texture maps. I'm using a simple model I made in Blender and a wood texture I made in a previous tutorial. The link is in the description. Choose your template under the shader settings based on your needs. For glass, the best template is the PBR Metal Rough with Alpha Blending. This will allow you to use the opacity channel. Select the glass layer and add a fill layer, naming it Glass. Under the Texture Set Settings, add an Opacity Channel. Turn off all channels except Color, Roughness, and Opacity. Set the base color to a dark gray. This will assist you with the opacity. Set the opacity to a value around 0.15 depending on how transparent you want the glass. Frosted glass often has a subtle opacity, not fully transparent. To give the glass that frosted effect, you need a roughness value, typically around 0.015. This will simulate the blurry, diffused reflection on the surfaces. Add a new fill layer and rename it Scratches. Turn off all channels except color, roughness, and opacity. Change the base color to a dark gray so it will contrast with the glass and be more visible when the opacity is applied. To add scratches, you need to right click and add a black mask to the fill layer. To add scratches to the glass, make sure you have the black mask selected. Under the textures panel, search for a grunge texture you want to use for the scratches. Drag and drop this texture onto the grayscale property of the black mask. To increase the number of scratches, you can increase the scratch tiling. The other parameters can be adjusted to your liking. Duplicate the Scratches layer and rename it to Smudges. To add smudges to the glass, make sure you have the black mask selected. Under the Textures panel, search for a grunge texture you want to use for the smudges and replace the current grunge texture. Drag and drop this texture onto the grayscale property of the black mask. Increase the roughness to around 0.7 in order to make sure the smudges are more opaque. The other parameters can be adjusted to your liking. To add frost to the glass, search for a dust smart mask and drag it onto the layer panel. Rename the new layer and turn off all the channels except color, roughness, normal, and opacity. To change the parameter of the Smart Mask, select the Mask Editor.
For the base color, use a very cool off-white with a blue tint. It is also a good idea to decrease the roughness to make this layer more glossy. Duplicate the frost layer and rename it to Frost 2. To add more frost to the glass, delete the smart mask and add a black mask with a fill. Search for a grunge texture under the textures panel and drag it onto the gray scale of the black mask fill. To change the scale of the grunge texture, increase the tiling to around 1.5. To decrease the effect of the grunge texture, right click on the Frost 2 layer and add a generator. We'll use the ambient occlusion generator with a blending mode of subtract. Changing the balance will allow you to add or subtract the frost amount. You can easily save this material as a smart material for future use. Add a folder and name it appropriately. Move all the layers into the folder. Right click on the folder and choose create smart material. You've now created a frosted glass material and substance painter. This material should have the classic frosted look with a combination of translucency, roughness, and height-based textures. You can always further adjust the material based on your project's needs, especially when fine-tuning for real-time engines like Unreal or Unity. Thank you for following along with this tutorial. If you found this helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.